Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I will show you how to fix the application was unable to start correctly error. This error can occur in any game or application. I'm going to quickly, quickly show you three different ways to solve the specific error that happens sometime when you try to run a program on any game. I'm going to start by showing you the simplest solution first for getting to the advance in depth. So let's go to start menu, app CMD, right click, run as administrator, type SFC forward slash scan now, press enter, it will take a while to complete. Now let's go and run the application, the problem is still the same. Let's copy the link first. We'll search in the browser. Here all the packages of Microsoft Visual Studio are combined and made available for download. After download is complete, extract the downloaded file and run the bad file as administrator and wait for a few moments to complete. Now let's run the application again. But the problem is still not resolved. You don't need to worry. The third method, the problem is surely going to resolve. Follow the steps carefully for advanced method. In this method, we are going to identify that which file is causing the error. We will identify the file and we will download the requirement for that so first of all we will download process monitor <laughs> go to google web process monitor when the first link of microsoft <laughs> After download is complete, extract the file, go to the folder, and first of all, you have to install Drockmon. So I have already done it, so it will not require, in my case, it will directly open. Process Monitor has launched. Now it's capturing all the events of occurring in this PC. So we have to first of all stop it, then erase all this existing data by pressing this button. Now all the data is removed. Now we have to uh, enter a filter, edit a filter for, uh, for capturing the events for our game only. So press this button. After that, select process name. Here we have to write application name. Write it first. Run the application. So write the application name exactly from here. Write it carefully. Don't make any mistake. Otherwise, this will not capture the events. Make add. Apply, okay. Now we will run our application in order to capture the events. So currently the capture is closed. So first of all, click capture. You can click it from here and also from the toolbar. Now run the application and let it for a few seconds so that it can capture all the events. So now close it. Now you can see that we have captured all the events of this application. Now we have to search for name not found. And apply the highlighter. 
now you can see that these are these are the files that result with name not found. We have to add an additional filter for to make it further easy. So now we have applied a filter. Now we have to look for the DRL file which is causing the error. So the error is caused due to some misplacement of DLL in system 32. So here we will search for the DLL which is appearing multiple times or more than three, two to three times. So if any DLL is appearing say one time or two times, it's okay. Find those which are appearing multiple times. In my case, I will now you can see that that X input is a DLL and this is also a DLL file. So uh, check for those which are repeating again and again. It can be one file, it can be two, two or more. So you have to look carefully for in your case. So in my case, it is X input DLL again. Again, I can see an X input one underscore three DLL. One more. So I can say that that my error is due to this file. So now let's go and search for this DLL. Go to C drive, Windows, System 32. Here you can type your input, your file name, or you can scroll down. So I will type my name of my missing data that is giving me the error x input 1 underscore 3 dot dll. So this is the file which is giving me error so I will delete it first after finding out that which TLL is giving the error I have provided this data in the description you can search your DLL file and see which package does it belongs to? In my case, x input one underscore three belongs to DirectX. So I will download DirectX from Microsoft site. So copy DirectX link. Click download. Wait for download to complete. To downloads complete on setup, press yes. Browse the location to extract. Press OK. Go to the location where you have extracted. Press start text. I agree. Install. Wait for installation to complete. After installation is complete, now let's go and run the application. You can see that we have resolved the issue. So, if you have liked this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my.